And this video was actually heavily requested by you guys. Everybody and day mamas literally screamed at me to do Elf vs. Wet n Wild. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria Roya and I am here to help you become the woman of your dreams. Literally, there is no lie here. In that sense, look for a lie. Try to tell me there was a lie. No, you're wrong because there's not. Not even a little bit. And I do that by reviewing makeup, I do that by testing out product, and I do that by spending my money so you don't have to. And testing out products so you don't have to. So you know what you can do? Live your best life. Today we are gonna be versing two brands. I'm so excited. I asked you guys on my Instagram stories what brands you guys wanted to see versed. So I went to Ulta yesterday and I bought a bunch of Elf and Wet n Wild products. I will say that she kinda screwed the pooch a little bit because I thought I had a lot more wet and wild makeup so I bought a lot of elf products but I have like more than enough to kind of cover a full face however we are gonna have to supplement it with a couple of other stuff and I guess I'm just gonna use the same old elf stuff guys I feel like they're very much in the same realm and I just want to see what they do because wet and wild is fire guys wet and wild is one of my favorite brands but elf is also like really come coming up there and they're scheming and they're finessing and their packaging is cute let's go ahead and start off with primer because we got to let that settle into our skin for the Wet Wild side, I'm gonna use the Wet Wild Impossible Primer Base. This is the one silicone free primer that does it all. And on the Elf side, we have the Elf Luminous Putty Primer. I've used this guy before, so I already can vouch for it. But I haven't used the Impossible Primer by Wet Wild. She's excited. This thing's got a big mouth. And are we sure we're silicone free, ma'am? Because this, I don't wanna to get too graphic, but this looks like the beginning of child labor. Women out there can agree. This doesn't feel silicone-y. It feels nice. It actually melted down to a very like watery consistency almost. All right, now on the elf side, let's go ahead and move on to our Luminous Putty Primer. I have the original guys, but I can't find it. So we're gonna be glowy and hoey today. Not like we usually aren't. I'm gonna say that the elf side, I'm a lot more blurred. I'm a lot more of a poreless patty. I'm looking real snatched on this elf side. So let's go ahead and give it four ice cream cups. Maybe not with sprinkles because sprinkles are for winners and we don't have a clear winner yet for the elf side I'm going to use the elf matte magic mist set and for the wet wild side I'm going to use the photo focus natural finish spray actually I feel like I've used the elf one before Yeah, and it smells like butt heavily alkalized. What is I should read the ingredients before alcohol is the second ingredient But I just read alcohol not alcohol to nat so we may be Gucci the rapper there on the wet and wild side, I love this spray, guys. I think this is my second bottle of this exact spray. I love wet and wild sprays. They're just really good. They're super portable and they just, they really work the well. When it comes to sprays, let's go ahead and give the wet and wild one four jelly beans. Let's go ahead and give the elf one like two. And for brows, why is my face? Stinging? Mom, is somebody thinking about me? Are you guys thinking about me right now? No, that's when your ears get hot. But if my face feels hot, somebody must be doing a lot more than just thinking about me. Gross. All right, for the Wet n' Wild side, I'm gonna use the Wet n' Wild Ultimate Micro Brow Pencil. I got mine in the shade Soft Brown. And on the L side, I'm gonna use the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in Neutral Brown. Ooh, that is smooth. The shade, I could have done better, but I will say guys, I also did have a mishap at Ulta because my Ulta was cleaned out of Wet n Wild. Like when I tell you like, I'm lucky that I even got the products that I did. And this, uh, and this color, not my favorite, but that formula is a banger. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the elf side. Okay, so the formula in this pencil is a little turnt and not in a good way. I don't like it. It's a very rough, dry formula and I can't do hair-like strokes that I like to do. I will say that I got a better shade in this. I don't know, guys. Let's go ahead and give the e.l.f. pencil maybe like two marshmallows. Let's go ahead and give the Went Wild pencil a whole s'more. We're back taped up. I'm really excited, guys. I have tried Went Wild eyeshadows and I'm not gonna lie, Went Wild eyeshadows, bangers. Miley Cyrus album. This is the Wen Wild Camo Flan new color icon palette. I haven't tried this exact eyeshadow palette. I have tried again Wet n Wild eyeshadows. They're really good guys for the drugstore. If you're ever gonna buy quads that you need to trust, Wet n Wild all the way hands down. I haven't tried the ones I'm about to use from e.l.f. but 
I can tell you right now and reassure you, the e.l.f. ones, bomb. I did also go ahead and prime and clean up my brows. For the Wet n Wild side, I used this new Mega Lash Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer, which I really like, and I've never tried this formula concealer before. I love their Photo Focus Concealer. I honestly don't know if they still have them. I didn't see them in the display. And on the e.l.f. side, I went ahead and just used the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of set my concealer just with some loose powder. This is a Photo Focus Translucent Powder, BT Dubs. Just so we don't have any skippage. And again, just so I can kind of brighten under the brow. Let's go ahead and grab this beautiful brown transition shade. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this dark brown color. I'm gonna focus that into my crease. I don't know if you guys can see how beautifully pigmented these shadows are. Again, I don't know what it is about Wet n Wild's formula. They just have a really, really good formula for being drugstore and for their price point. Like it's just, it's a good overall product. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shimmery gold shade. And this is gonna be the main color on our lid. Because I wanna show you guys how a shimmery works. Because I've showed you guys how the mattes work. The mattes work really well. They're not super like in your face. They're very demure, but they're really pretty guys. They just have a very nice, soft, brilliance to them. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and test out the glitter shade because I'm actually not familiar with the glitters from Wet n Wild, but holy crap, did I just become a fan. Oh my God. So definitely, definitely apply it with your fingers. And I didn't have anything on my fingers beforehand, guys, but look how that just sticks onto my eye. Do you see that? All right, let's go ahead and move on to the e.l.f. side. For the e.l.f. side, I do have these brand new e.l.f. bite-sized palettes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the e.l.f. size blush in Cream and Sugar. And I'm gonna grab the creamiest shade. Again, just to kind of set my concealer, but also create a nice little transition. Now I'm gonna go into pumpkin pie and grab this nice pretty brown. But you guys, this brown is literally like perfect. Okay, she's pigmented, she's giving, but she's not blending out how I would like. Not my favorite formula when it comes to like blending out, but she's very pretty. She's very pigmented. I can't be mad at it. All right, now I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which these shades don't really have names. So it's just gonna be this shade, that shade, and that whole shade over there. All right guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's not, they're not my favorite shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and try a shimmer now. I'm gonna grab again this hoe over here and see if the shimmers perform any better. Oh damn, this shimmer is bad, blinding. Holy crap, it's performing like I dampened my brush and I swear to you I did not. All right, so I don't necessarily love the color. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with this gold shade just so we can dim the light a little bit. Oh, you see now we made magic. Sophie, let's go ahead and give the e.l.f. bite size shadows like 1400 moon particles because whoa, this is so nice. I love this. All right, I don't have an eyeliner from Wet n Wild. I do have this big, bad, new, intense black liner from e.l.f. This is the intense ink eyeliner in the shade Black is Black. Whoa. I also really like that it's like like thick and you're like able to hold on to it more. I'm just gonna use this on both eyes and listen to Chris Brown, okay? Bye. All right, Miss Ma'am, this is already not my favorite eyeliner. It's performing not like a brand new eyeliner, which it is. And it's performing like I already left it out for a few hours. It was very dry. It's not very pigmented. I mean, it's black, but it was not easy nor fun to use. On the glitter side, it's poopy, poopy doopy, which is not good. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to foundation. For my application of said foundation, however, I do have an e.l.f. sponge. Yo, this is very squishy and it blew up. And this is the Wet n Wild one, which I have used before. I do like. She's a baddie. Also, here's the thing. So about like the e.l.f. foundation. I thought I had the CC cream, guys, but I think I gave it away to my sister. So here's what we're gonna do, because I do have my my e.l.f. camo concealers. I'm just gonna use my concealers as foundation. I'm gonna use the darker one in the perimeters and the lighter one in the insides of my face. I have to make it work, guys, okay? I do apologize. Okay, so this sponge might just be like my favorite new sponge of all time because it's so soft, it's so squishy, it's like so malleable. This actually isn't looking bad. All right, we can go ahead and give it like two tote bags. 
it's cute and it's real indie, you know? Moving on to my Wet n Wild side, I'm gonna go ahead and use probably my favorite foundation in the drugstore, period. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. I did not like stick foundations, you guys, until I tried this one. This is the prettiest foundation in the drugstore. You guys can fight me all you want. It is so pretty. I feel so poreless. I feel so airbrushed. I feel so perfectly covered, but still natural. <sighs> I just love her. I never use the word immaculate, guys, but I'm gonna do it. Immaculate. All right, let's go ahead and move on to concealer. I'm gonna use again the Incognito Mega Last by Wet n Wild on the Wet n Wild side. I really like this packaging because I really like the paddle of the Wet n Wild one. And by the way, guys, I'm using the shade Light Medium. You guys, I look so blurred out and flawless on the Wet n Wild side. I think I just found my new favorite drugstore concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Powder under my eyes just to set everything. This is so good just ugh, honestly 14 glazed donuts good so i am gonna go ahead and set my entire face with it i set under my eyes pretty heavily i use a lot of powder but on the rest of my face i'm just gonna kind of set it lightly so we have no escapages now on this side i'm gonna go ahead and use my elf brightening pens this is the flawless brightening concealer you guys we're looking real hot on this side too oh my goodness man look at us they said it couldn't be done Nobody said that, actually, but look at us. Hot tamales, looking hot, looking fire. All right, well, this is a really pretty brightening concealer. I still gotta give it to the Wet n Wild side, guys. I think Wet n Wild won with concealers. All right, on the e.l.f. side, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder just to kind of set my under eyes and everywhere that I place that brightening concealer. And then for the rest of the face, I'm gonna use the Perfect Finish HD Powder. We're doing pretty good here. I went ahead and just finished off the eyes, set both my face, now we can go ahead and move on to the bronzer. The bronzer, however, is gonna be pretty universal, guys. I don't have a bronzer for Wet n Wild, so I'm just gonna use a e.l.f bronzer, which I have these brand new bite-sized face duos from e.l.f. We're gonna try and make it work. I'm actually really excited. Never tried this product before. What's the worst that can happen? Don't know if I love this bronzer. No, now I know I definitely don't like this bronzer. It's shimmery, which kind of makes me look muddy right now. Don't love, love that. And I don't like the formula. The way it's blending out is so patchy and it's grabbing onto the most random areas in my face. Like, look at this. What even is this? Why are you grabbing onto me like that, dog? Stop being so clingy. You're not even my real dad. What? Stop. I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with some translucent powder from e.l.f. And I'm gonna go into another brush and go into it with some translucent powder from Wet n Wild. See if we can fix that a little bit. Dope. Okay, now let's go ahead and go on to blush. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Nudist Society blush from Wet n Wild. This is one of my favorite favorite, favorite blushes. Again, if you're ever in a pinch and you need a very good performing, high quality blush at the drugstore, Wen Wild. All the way, hands down, don't even look at another blush in the face, cause they'll just betray you. I'm just being honest. Now for e.l.f., I'm gonna go ahead and use, it's called Always Cheeky. This is a pretty blush, I've used it before. It's a nice blush, it's pretty. I just don't love the formula of e.l.f blushes they're a little i don't know how to explain this they're a little dry and they're just not my favorite like they just don't blend out as beautifully as the wet wild ones do which is why i have to veil again because they kind of skip and stuff i'm gonna go ahead and set my face down from all this powder all right now mascara <laughs> mascara i also don't have a mascara from wet n wild but we do have a brand new mascara from elf this is the brand new big mood mega volume lifting mascara this has an hourglass brush and i got mine in the shade black i haven't heard of this mascara so i don't know if it's any good or not it looks promising the brush looks really promising so we are going to use this on both lashes i'm hoping that this wows me because i've never ever been wowed by an elf mascara and it's Seems as though today is not gonna be the day that I get wowed either. I could say good mascara, guys. Don't get me wrong, but it's just not, not my favorite in the least. I mean, it's pretty, it's adding definition, it's adding color, it's separating them, it's combing through. I don't know, it's just not wowing me. Hmm, let's just go ahead and give this mascara, Sophie, just one big meh, because it's how I'm feeling. 
at the moment. All right, brow gel. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Wet n Wild Brow Shaping Gel. This is by their Brow Sessive line. Okay, so this is cute and totally femme fatale. I really like how that swept through my brushes. I like this a lot. Let's give it one whole hot dog. Ugh, from Sonic, yum. And then from e.l.f., let's go ahead and use this Clear Brow and Lash Mascara, which I've never used, but this was really affordable, guys. This was like literally $2. Go ahead and use the brow side. Oof, I like this a lot. I think I like the brush more on this side. It just fluffed them up really, really, really nicely. Highlight. For highlight on this side, I'm gonna use the highlight that came in the e.l.f. Bite Size Duo, again, in coconut. I'm really excited to see if at least this side of the duo is any good because I did not like the bronzer. Don't really love the highlight either. Okay, okay. So these are a bust pineapples. Five of them. I have this other e.l.f. highlight that I've never tried either. I actually bought this at TJ Maxx a few months ago. And I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and see if it's any different. This is in white gold. Okay, see, this is a lot better. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here on my nose, my brow bone. I'm also gonna go ahead and apply this in the center of both my eyes, just to add a pop of something. For lips, I have this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner Perfect Pout. Bear to comment, this is one of my favorite lip liners. And I'm gonna top it off with a gloss from Wet n Wild. This is one of their plumping glosses, which I love. I just don't think I have this shade, which is the shade Pink Cosmo. So we're not gonna do a side-by-side. -side. We're kinda gonna do a mix of rouge because e.l.f. didn't have any lip liners, but Wet n Wild, again, didn't have anything in their cosmetics. I'm lucky that I had this lip liner here in my collection, again, because I love this lip liner, but if I hadn't have found this lip liner, guys, we wouldn't have had anything from Wild Wild. And now for the gloss. If you guys are in the market for glosses that really like plump up your lips without any like pain, you guys are really sensitive to that kind of stuff, these e.l.f. plumbing glosses are the perfect glosses just for that because they're super plumping, but they don't burn or tinkle your lips in any way, which I personally don't mind when products do, but I know other people have like real high sensitivities to that. So I recommend these. All right guys, so we are back and we are feeling so be good about our lives. I have to say that now like really looking at my makeup, the elf side is looking really, really pretty. The Wet Wild side is also looking very, very pretty, but like in a different way. The elf side is a lot more matte, a lot more demure, a lot more simple, a lot more basic makeup, which is my favorite thing in the world. While the Wet Wild side is giving holiday, it's giving glamour, it's giving vibey Jingle Bell Rock vibe. So I don't know who wins. Like if I had to really give it to somebody, like I honest, I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, I'm going to give it it, yeah, I'm just gonna say it's a tie. I can't pick guys. I really can't I'm trying to and I can't both win in different elements If you want glam when wilds got you if you want that soft demure look elves got you I just think that we all win here Honestly, not just both brands But everybody wins here because again when wild is so accessible to us and so is elf elf is literally sold everywhere So is when wild we can find them both at Ulta We can find them both at CVS. We can find them both at Walgreens. This is all good stuff guys and I'm really excited excited that we're just in a world now where we can get looks like this at drugstore prices. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to give this whole face just seven cartons full of eggnog. Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember, baby girl, whether it is super expensive, whether it is very affordable, whether it is influencer, whether it is your typical drugstore brand, it is crazy what you deserve. You deserve the world, you deserve it all, and I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video, although this one was fun. I had a good time with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah. I love you, bye. Pineapples, four of them. Four of them? Four. Five of them. I'm going through it. And I got glitter all over my fingers, you guys. Glitter really is the herpes of the cosmetics world. Cause once you got it, you, you're screwed.